Hola amigos, ¿cómo están? Ya estoy lista para hacerme el maquillaje. No les voy a echar mentiras. Siempre me hago el maquillaje manejando. I always do my makeup driving. And I know it's horrible. Super bad. Yes, I've gotten some tickets. So right now, I'm going to do it here. This is just like normal makeup that I do when I go out. Just kind of simple. So primer oil first. This primer oil, I actually got it in Monterrey. It was not expensive at all. 130 pesos. 130 pesos. Um, but it's actually really good. I actually liked it a lot. Um, it's not so oily. And it leaves your face hydrated. For the makeup on the top. And you know, I never, ever, ever used the primer oil. But when I saw it, I wanted to try it. And it's actually really good. It's okay. My gosh, I'm like chongo, parezco perro. Colita de perrito. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we let it sit in for a while. Mm. And I bought this one also there. It's from Beauty Creations. If you can see it. It was 97 pesos, but it's a pore minimizing. If you can see it right there. Um, I have a lot of pores, open pores, really bad all over right here. And my chin. I break out on my chin a lot, and it's really bad. So this one, I'm just gonna put it right here. Right, right here. Okay, so right here. Let it for a little while, just like that. Okay. So I am going to do my eyes first. I have this awesome palette from Dior. I actually like it a lot. I like doing my eyes first because when you do your eyeshadow, you tend to get really dirty from the bottom of your eyes. So I do my eyes first to avoid any eyeshadow on the bottom. That way when you're done with your eyeshadow, you can just clean it up. I always just put like a white primer on the bottom. That way you're good to go for when you put your other I wish I had somebody that would. It does not stain at all, at all, at all. And, like I said, it's cheap. Hmm. To my eyeliner's tattooed from the top. I tattooed it like I want to say 10 years ago. My mom took me and um, I regret it. I tattooed it because I hated doing the line, and then if it would get crooked, I would cry because it was crooked. So I decided to tattoo it. Oh my gosh, it hurts so bad if you are thinking of doing it it's not impossible it's not possible but what you want to do is just put the glue on all the little tip 
just like that if you can see it kind of blow on it blow on it blow on it and then i already curled my eyelashes because my eyelashes are like this So I always have to curl them and I use this Chanel curler. I think it's actually discontinued, but I love it. Thank God that I bought it when it was. I, actually, I don't know if it's discontinued, but last time I went to go look for another one, it was. So I curled them right before I did all my makeup. I wish I had like a paper to kind of like blow on it. I don't know why I didn't get one. But when I do my makeup in the car, I love it. Because you get to turn on the fan, hit your eye, and it dries super, super fast. Of course, don't do it. Super dangerous. You can crash. I am not proud of it, but this month I've hit someone like three times first time somebody didn't stop at the stop sign and they hit me on the side second time i wasn't really paying attention and i hit someone through the back and like a week ago i hit someone through the back again i thought they had left they didn't leave i let go of the brake and i hit them in the back so yeah don't do your makeup I wasn't doing my makeup during those accidents, but it sucks. It sucks. So there, my eyelashes done. And you can still see a little bit of white because it's not dry yet. But if you had a paper, it'd be a lot easier. So. I actually love these eyelashes. I got them in Walgreens. I bought the, some really expensive ones online. They were like 30 bucks. I think they're like the ones that like the famous people use, like Kim Kardashian and stuff. But I did not like them at all. At all, at all, at all. I don't know um let me see i don't know exactly how much they were but i know they were like two dollars and something not more than four but concealer i always like to go a little bit under to the cheek just a little bit under It's crazy how right now there are so many lines of makeup already. Like, if you wanted to memorize them all, you'd go crazy. I'm not so much about buying the newest things that come out or the most expensive things. I'm just about, does it work for my face? Does it cover my under dark guys and if it does just keep it don't change don't change because you're just gonna waste money and time and time and this one i love it i've been using it forever and don't get me wrong i have had different brands of concealer i did like clinique a lot but when I bought this one to try it out, 
it, it was almost the same. You know, it covers the same. So why waste more money, you know? But yeah, I like this one a lot, the Pro Concealer. Like I said, I bought it downtown here in McAllen, Texas. I'm pretty sure you can find it in other places. And I like to put it on top of my lips also. What I like about concealer is that it's, it's not just for under your eyes. You know, right now you can use it for a lot of things. So I like to put it on the line of my nose, on my lips, just a little bit on my forehead because it's kind of like darkish. I don't know why. I have like a, I don't know, like a, what can I say? It's kind of like a spot or something on my forehead, like a lunar. And then my my chin is very dark on like, since that's where I get the most acne. So I have to just cover it up a little bit. I also have this Giorgio Armani cream. It's called Crema Nuda. It says Supreme Glow Reviving Tinted Cream. It is kind of expensive, but I bought it to try it out and I loved it. It's, um, it's kind of like cream, but it does have like color in it. It's like when you're in a hurry and you just put it all over your face. It looks like makeup, but it's like cream. I don't know, I guess that's what you could describe it as. But I like to use it on my chin because like I said, that's where um, I have it stained the most. And I just put it a little bit like that. You could use it um, wherever you have dark spots. Oops. I don't know if you can see it, but I look really white right now because of all the concealer that I have everywhere to cover imperfections. But after this, I do my contour. So I've been asked, how do you put the contour on? There's a lot of ways to put the contour on. A lot of people do a million things. For me, it's just basic. On the sides, it's kind of like you're marking your face more and it looks a lot thinner. And then I put it down here and down here. And on my nose. So if you could see, when my daughter see me like this, they always say, what is wrong with your face? And then just contour it in. The bottom, you go down on the jawline, just like that. But it does help, especially on pictures. Honestly, when I don't contour my face, I feel like I look like a circle. Oh, this chair. Like I look like a circle. And contour helps my face look more defined. So. And once you're done with your contour, you're going to put a little bit a little bit more of the concealer to mark it more on the nose. A little bit more here. Mm. 
Have you guys heard this music? This group is called SETI. And their music is just awesome. It is. I love it. I love it. Okay, so we're done with our contour. Lighting sucks here and I'm so sorry. But I will buy a little light thingy. Okay, so we're done with our contour. Now, let's continue with the eyes. I actually like to put the eyes, the powder till the end. That way it's Fresh and clean. So fresh and some clean, clean. Just outlining in the bottom using this little thin brush thingy. It's kind of like angled. I actually want to do a chola makeup tutorial. What do you guys think? Comment below. I'm thinking of doing like a chola makeup review or a zombie makeup tutorial I remember one time I did this zombie makeup for my class and I was doing it like at 12 at my parents house and it was almost done you know and my dad came in and he almost had a heart attack. He was like, ¿Qué tienes? Estás loca, me asustaste. Like, like if I had done it on purpose. And I was like, Dad, it's for a grade. I'm doing it because I have to, not because I want to look like a zombie. But he was so scared. He thought I had, like, I don't know, he said he thought the worst, like if I had an accident and stuff, but more than being scared he got mad and i was like why are you getting mad why are you getting mad father hmm. okay so you saw i outlined with the thin and i put like a purple it's like a dark purple eyeshadow from dior and then on the inside you put like a you know, like, a, kind of like a white or beige just to make it look more glowy. Okay, so I'm done with that. Now, hmm. okay, now I'm going to do my eyeshadow. I don't like the brush for the makeup. I know everybody uses a brush now for the makeup. But since I don't really like to put it everywhere, plus I like to put it on my skin. That way it just, I feel like it covers more than the brush. So you kind of put it... <laughs> Allergies are so bad right now. I was super skin, skin, sick with mocos and stuff. Oh, I hate it. I like to put it on my neck also. All the way down on my neck. Because I don't know if you've seen girls that they don't put it on their neck. And then they could, you could see like the difference of the makeup. 
like it's like super white and then like super black or super black and super white and I'm like girl go down go down 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 there okay so there 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 so I'm gonna continue with the eyes now oh, this chair sucks <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna do the line. Just my little line. Oh, these eyelashes are so good. I wish my eyelashes were like this. In the end, I like to put a little bit more of the eyeliner. Sorry about that. Okay, so I'm 100% done with the eyeshadow. I really, really want to talk about mascaras. I don't know what mascara you guys wear, but I have bought in so many mascaras because my eyelashes suck. They really do. They're super down. If I curl them, they will not stay up. I bought in Chanel mascara, Dior, the Runway Show mascara, any mascara you could think of even the cheap ones to see which one's good and for me the best 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 mascara is mary Kay. honestly mary Kay products are amazing they are really really good and they're very affordable they're not so, so expensive as other brands but Mary Kay mascara is awesome. If you do not know what mascara to use and you've tried them all, try it. I guarantee you, you're going to love it. You are. Don't mind my ridiculous face. Please don't make fun of me. Oh, no, no. I cannot wait for the Eugenio Derbez movie to come out overboard it's gonna be so hilarious i so want to go watch it and take all your tias tios your abuelas your abuelos primas primos vecinos vecinas oh, no. okay so if this happens to you don't worry just take it off Thank God for this spongy. Okay. So, that happens to me for making fun of the raza. I'm not making fun, guys. I am raza. I am raza. There. So, this mascara is amazing, like I said. I believe this Mary Kay mascara is like 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 the most. But it's awesome. I love it. Okay. We're done with the eyes. Okay. For the eyebrows, I love this Benefit 
little gel brow color with brush. It's like this. I love it. Love it. But I also use a YSL eyebrow palette. YSL. So both of them. You you need them both. If you want your eyebrows to look kind of naturalish, pretty beautiful, gorgeous, and for them to last you the whole day, I try both of them. Okay. So first I first I like to outline it with eyeshadow. Just to kind of like fill in all the gaps. All the gaps that are inside. So I fill it with a dark brown. You fill it with whichever one is best for you. This one in particular, YSL, comes with the dark one, a light one, and then like a beige one. So the dark one, I like to fill all my eyebrows. You kind of like that. And then the lighter one, I'll put it in the beginning of the eyebrow. But honestly, makeup does miracles. It does so much miracles. But, oh well, too bad guys. Okay. So there, I did that. So what I like to do now is with the gel, the gel one, I actually do use a little brush. And I only outline the brows. I don't fill it because then it's gonna look like it's tattooed. So I outline it just so it could look a little bit more like there look. and so it could last longer i noticed when i started doing it like this it does last me all day and i like this one because it's actually waterproof so then i outline the top and then the top. There you go. I don't really like to put it in the beginning of the eyebrows because I like for it to look just a little bit more natural. There you go. Okay, so there I'm done with that. And then I like to use white and just <coughs> outline the bottom of the eyebrows. There you go. This is not a professional makeup tutorial, people. This is just me doing my makeup like I usually do. Except I'm not driving this time. Don't tell the cops. Please. Please, please, please. Okay, so there. I'm done with that. I love this Giorgio Armani blush. This is the Maestro Fusion blush. It is amazing, amazing, amazing. Honestly, you cannot go with another blush. This one's awesome. The only thing about this one is that it's liquid. It's liquid. At first, for me, it was super hard because it is hard to put it together, but it's soft. And it's, you have to like handle it with your fingers, smoothen it out because it's hard since it's like this. Mm. 
Yeah, I don't know if you can see. You know, you have to just keep keep mixing it with your hands till it's um evenly done, you know. Oh, but I love it, and it will stay on. It stays on so well all day. It does. And then I love this Mary Kay. It's almost finishing. Um, it's called Sheer Dimension. Sheer Dimension. Yeah. And it's just like a highlighter. And I love it. I love it, love it. Just put it on the side of your cheekbone. It kind of just, you know, gives you a... When you take pictures or when you're outside, gives you a beautiful glow. Can you see it? And it's not that I don't have brushes for all this, because I do. But on myself, I love to just, honestly, even my eyeshadow, if I could, I would do my fingers. A lot of the times, I just feel that I could feel the makeup better, blend it in better, and control it better than with the blush. That's just me. I like to put it on my nose, on the line. And then on the top of my lips. I, I'll tell you a secret. I really want to inject my lips. What do you think? Should I? Should I not? I've always wanted to. But I'm scared. I'm scared of not liking it. And I know they say, okay, well, it'll go down, you know. I wish it was forever. There's people who say that. But I'm still scared. What if I look ridiculous? What do I do? I don't know. I don't know, but that's just me. So, what color should I put on my lips? Can you see my makeup? Actually, I woke up like this, guys. This is the way I look when I wake up. Okay. So, I have these Giorgio Armani lipsticks. I don't know. Should I use dark? Should I use something more innocent, just pinkish beige? Or should I use the Dior lip gloss? I don't know. You know what? You know what? I think I'll use the light one. The only thing I don't like about using dark lipsticks is that it makes you look older maybe scarier oh this is like my all-time favorite lip gloss i love it i love it love it it is gorgeous and it's not expensive at all at all at all it's like a what color is it flavored gloss it doesn't say the name oh it says brillant i don't know if you can see it can you see it there but it's from victoria's secret and i love it i think it's it it's like a beautiful beautiful color that you can wear anytime with anything anything it's just gorgeous so i believe that i'm done with my makeup can you see my makeup there you go it's very natural you know it's very natural it's it's not like you know super dark this is my everyday makeup 
and this is something that I will use just to go anywhere. Now, I love to use these color eyeshadows. Lip gloss. But there you go. This is what I do every day, except I'm driving. And literally, I do this makeup exactly while I drive. And it's horrible. I promise I won't do it anymore. And not with my kids. Only when I'm driving alone. But, um, yeah, I do it exactly like this. But, of course, like, I, eyelashes or eyeliner, I do it while in a stop sign or in a red light. But, um, this is something that you could use just as every day. If you want to use this for the night, if you want to use this for the night, all you have to do is maybe change your lip gloss to a dark one maybe like a burgundy red or just apply more dark eyeliner on the bottom i didn't apply dark eyeliner it's kind of like a purple in the bottom but if you want to use this for the night just put black eyeliner on the inside that way your eyes will pop out more and change your lip gloss or if you think it's good you can also wear it for the night but thank you for watching i am gonna do my hair now so i will also be recording it so click on the next video for my hair that way you can see how i do my hair thank you